one of my favorite productivity shortcuts on my Mac or even in Windows is to use the tab key to select and then the spacebar key to activate which button I want to press in all of those on-screen dialog boxes instead of using the mouse because I just don't have time to be mousing around. For example, anytime you're prompted with a dialog box like this one, most people just take their hand off the keyboard and grab the mouse and mouse over and click on the button they want. That's inefficient for me some of the time as I can take my hand away from doing what I'm doing if I'm in more of a typing position on the keyboard. Or if I'm working on a large monitor and my mouse is way over on the other side of the screen, I got a mouse over to the other side. So I'm gonna show you a quick way to just get through everyday tasks more quickly and how to turn this feature on in Mac OS. And it's enabling the option in Mac OS to use keyboard navigation to move between controls. So what does this do? Well, it allows the operating system to be able to select the on-screen buttons in all of those dialog boxes, which means you can then use your keyboard to activate those buttons instead of using the mouse. Kind of like this. Here's my mouse moving. I'll close this file and I will save. You can see my mouse is way over here and I'll hit spacebar. And now that file asks me where I want to save it. Most of the time, if you're presented with a dialog box, say you close a file without saving it and it prompts you with a dialog box that says save, don't save or cancel. Well, again, most people will just grab the mouse and go over there and click their button of choice. Ah, oh, I missed it. Ah, I missed it. Got it. There's a quicker way to choose your option. You don't have to waste time with the mouse. Usually if you're prompted with a dialog box, simply pressing the enter or return key will activate the okay or save button or whatever the default button is. And I'll talk about that more in just a sec. But you can also choose one of the other buttons in the dialog box with your keyboard very, very quickly just by tabbing to the next key and then pressing spacebar. Spacebar will activate or press the highlighted key. Now on Windows, this feature is on by default, but on Mac, you have to turn it on because in Mac OS, by default, again, the operating system won't highlight on-screen buttons like this. But we're in luck because all we have to do is turn on this feature, and I really can't believe it's not on by default. I'm a big keyboard shortcuts person. I don't like using the mouse if I don't have to. So again, just go to System Preferences, Keyboard, go to the Shortcuts tab, and then tick the little box at the bottom next to Use Keyboard Navigation to Move Focus Between Controls. And it even tells you what it does. Press the tab key to move forward and shift tab to move back. And that's it. And here's how it works once you turn it on. So once it's on, if you're prompted with a dialog box with different buttons to choose from, as I said, there will usually be one button that's already active and that's the default button. And you can usually just hit enter or the return key to activate or have the computer press that button. And you can usually even do this without this particular system preference turned on. Pressing enter will almost always just choose the default button. For example, let's open up Photoshop, but this works probably in 99% of on-screen dialog boxes from any software program. So if I make a new file, draw something really quickly, and then if I try to close this file in Photoshop without saving, it prompts me. And we can see here that the save button is blue, but don't save and cancel are gray. So this tells me that the save button is the default button and I can just hit enter or return and it will then press the save button. And since I've never saved this file before, Photoshop will then show me another dialog box so I can save the file where I want. And again, this usually works without that system preference turned on. Enter will just choose the default action, but there's a little more to it than that now that the preference is on. And you have to have an eagle eye to see it. But if I have the same dialog box, let's say I go back into Photoshop, make a new file again, and try to close it without saving, I have save, don't save, and cancel. Again, we can see that save is blue, but if I press tab, I then see an additional thin blue outline appear around the save key. Sometimes the blue outline is already there around the default button, and it can appear first on different buttons depending on the program you're using, so be careful, but this thin blue outline around a button means that I can activate or press the outline button with the spacebar key. So be careful, but I love this option. Sometimes the outline can be harder to see on a Mac if it's around the default key because the default key is blue and the outline is also blue, but it's there and we can still see it here in Photoshop. See the thin blue line around save? Now, if I press tab, the highlight moves down around the don't save button. Pressing tab moves focus to usually the next button and that focus is shown by the blue outline now around the don't save button. 
Do not hit enter or return here because the enter or return key will almost always still perform the default action or press the default key that's the solid color, no matter which key has the outlined highlight around it. So even if I press tab and highlight a different key, I have to hit spacebar to activate my selected button, whereas pressing enter will still activate, in this case, the save button, because again, the save button is the default key and the enter or return key activates usually the default key. So once the button we actually want to press has this thin blue outline around it, pressing spacebar presses that button just as if we had moused over and clicked it. I use this all the time, especially if I'm on my laptop or if I'm in more of a typing position with my keyboard, maybe typing out an email or something, then I don't know, maybe I accidentally press command W for close, but I didn't want to close it. I'm prompted with a dialog box and this box here in Apple Mail actually already has don't save highlighted as you can see with the blue outline around the box. So basically I can now perform one of two options without even having to move my hands away from the keyboard and over to the mouse or the trackpad. Since save is the default button, since it's solid blue, I can just reach my pinky over and hit return and the email saves to drafts. Or also without moving much, I can just press the space bar with my thumb and it activates the don't save key since that's the key that had the highlight around it and then the email closes and doesn't save. So typing an email, maybe I didn't want this email, I press command W to close it, I'm presented with a dialog box, my eyes see the blue default button, and they see the already highlighted other button, and without my hands moving much, I can just choose one of those options. Enter or return key for save, spacebar for don't save. Or I can just reach up with my left pinky and hit tab and cancel then becomes highlighted. Then I can press spacebar to cancel all without moving my hands off of the keyboard. I can't believe this isn't on by default in Mac OS. I don't think it's even an option to turn it off in Windows, and it works the same way in Windows. Next time you have a dialog box, if OK is blue or dark gray, instead of moving the mouse over and clicking OK, just try pressing Enter. Or if that's not the button you want, try pressing Tab and look for a little outline around a specific on-screen button. Then try the spacebar key if that's the button you wanna press. So I say stop wasting time with the mouse. It's a great invention and I think we need it in modern computing, but I also think that oftentimes what we're prompted with on screen is much more quickly activated by just moving our hands to a different position or really not even moving our hands at all, just pressing tab then pressing spacebar to activate that on screen button and you're done. And you don't have to waste any more time hunting for a button on screen. And that's it. I hope this was helpful. Use those keyboard shortcuts. Later.